I didn't go to school for fashion design, but I knew I could make some clothes. The idea that you can't or can wear something and you need to be this to do that, I think like a lot of that's disappearing. I'm including people in my world. I feel like, you know, rather than trying to cater to everybody in the world, you know, so maybe our worlds are catching up. I created the bag security program so that people could be able to get the thing that they wanted. We just really wanted to know, like, if we actually just gave people the chance to get this bag, how many bags would we sell in one day? It was a bit experimental, and then also at the same time, it was just like, yeah, let's give people what <laughs> they want, you know? You know, I don't want people to have to have a stress, um, idea of stress and getting, you know, the thing that they want. <laughs> My love for just seeing things, you know, kind of on a mass level, it means that you kind of changed or shaped something in some kind of way. But I think it's more special when it is accessible. It can still be it and everybody can have it. <laughs> I think like a lot of things that are being praised are just like, you know, like my <laughs> personality and the personality of the brand, you know? They're based on my actual beliefs. It's not like a business strategy. I should continue to trust my instinct <laughs> and um, listening to my voice of how I perceive the world and how that affects my work. The idea that I have a lot of freedom to be part of it in the way that I want to participate in it, I guess is the most exciting thing about the future. <laughs>